Today, we'll be going over the wall bug variation. This is a variation of the debug exercise, but the emphasis here is to help create a connection between the rib cage stacking properly over the pelvis, um, or uh, the cue we like to use is kidneys to the floor in any type of dead bug exercise variations, but also to address the overhead position as most people tend to go into this open rib cage or open scissor pattern when they're pressing overhead, especially if the weight starts to get a little heavy. So to set it up, we have Michael over here. You're going to lay on your back with your head about a foot or half of a foot away from the wall or whatever position that you can get your hands overhead comfortably with your elbows bent. So if you notice in this starting position, most people will tend to have a high chest pattern or high chest holding or resting pattern. And one, a, a great, great way to address that is to do this exercise called a wall bug. So Mike is going to place both his hands, palms flat against the wall and elbows slightly bent. It's okay. You don't necessarily have to be right at 90 degrees. The next thing that Michael's going to do is going to gently press into the wall above him just to create a gentle connection to lower the rib cage and stack it over the pelvis. So go ahead and relax the arms again, and we can show this one more time for emphasis. As he gently presses into the wall, it will help activate the muscles in the rib cage and lower and center the rib cage over the pelvis. From there, you can explore variations. Uh, simply just by holding this position and breathing down into the small corners of the back while keeping the kidneys stuck to the floor. A progression for this next exercise is while maintaining this gentle connection by pushing into the wall above, you can raise one leg off the floor at a time without losing any of this position here. Yep, and then go ahead and try the other side here. Things to keep or pay attention to as you introduce the leg raising and lowering is to make it sure that as you lift one leg at a time to not have the rib cage go into this flared or open scissor position. And you can explore both legs at a time. And if this gets a little bit easier, you can also then progress into leg lowering one leg at a time without losing the connection with the rib cage stacked over the pelvis. And this is the wall bike exercise. Practice it and have fun. Thanks.